No doubt uh, you have uh, watched uh, the reaction since uh, the clip went viral with the DA leader, John Steenhazen, looking on as, of course, a host uh, made comments uh, that are misogynistic and uh, even racist in nature. What does a brand like Anando's, who's, uh, I suppose, very, very identity is around courting controversy. How do they deal with this kind of thing? You know, what happened there, or well, let me go back a step. The, the single most dangerous form of brand ambassadorship is having somebody who represents your brand and they're not necessarily a full-time employee. So they're a celebrity or a well-known person or like Gareth Cliff, they themselves, to use your phrase, court controversy. So there's a kind of fit for the brand. And what happens is... Uh, that's the highest possible risk to which you can expose your brand because if that person beats up a girlfriend or says something inappropriate or does what Gareth did this time, it has a massive impact on your business, as it has. And, of course, uh, I mean, it's par for the course in a way, is it not? Uh, But I, I really like the point that you're making that whatever controversial ads, for example, Uh, however cheeky they may get, Nando's puts out there, they're in control of that. The very nature of a controversial talk show host means you have no idea what they're going to say. No, and the thing is this, that uh, Nando's has... Uh, mocked and pilloried people and uh, taken digs at politicians and so on. And it's it's been a fairly exploitative kind of campaign. And I think what they did this time is, um, even in their response, their big error was that they trivialized what had happened by saying, we know that you know, in that tweet that they put out. Now, they could have put out something more sober to say, we're as upset as you are, but obviously this is going to take a little bit of time to sort out because... People imposed unrealistic expectations on Nando's actually getting rid of Gareth. The point is this: Gareth is uh, quite litigious. You may recall that when Mnet dumped him from yeah. Idols, he got uh, Dali and Pofu to yeah. take it to court for him, and he won. So in, unless you have an absolutely ironclad clause in your contract with that brand ambassador, which says totally in our estimation and not subject to arbitration or mediation, if we feel that you have put the brand at risk, we will reserve our right to terminate our relationship with you immediately and you in signing this agreement undertake not to uh, attempt litigation or anything like that because you you can't possibly do that and w- also the, the other thing is Gareth is a loose cannon you know if I I watched that video in detail and picking up on what you said Bongani about uh, John Stenhausen's uh, facial expression his uh, comments to Nicholas Bauer were really disingenuous you didn't have to have any skills in body language to see him smirking and absolutely reveling in the pasting that uh, Gareth delivered, which was revolting in the, in the extreme. So there's no way you can associate your brand with that kind of behavior. Current events, developing stories, tough questions, your voice making a difference. This is Breakfast with Bongani Bingwa.